How many times can I say cute and delicious in this video? I don't know. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a little quickie for you, which is going to be looking at some of the Lush Valentine's releases. This video is not sponsored, but I am on the Lush PR list, so they did send me these things. Sometimes I still can't quite believe that I'm on their PR list because they were definitely like one of the first brands I was actually aware of growing up that were kind of like openly cruelty free or had vegan things and so it's always super exciting to me and kind of brings back a lot of memories so eh, let's have a look. So this is the little booklet that comes with it which appears that there is a little boat bath bomb. A love boat if you will. So it looks like everything in this Valentine's collection is vegan which is awesome and it smells <laughs> Amazing. So first up we have the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. This one smells really beautiful, nice and kind of rose scented and I believe this one has rose petals in as well so if you do not like stuff in your bath bombs you may not like this one because it does fill your bath with uh, rose petals. So I don't know if I said that was the giant one or the regular one but I think it's actually it was actually the regular one. And it says, so commits cascades of real rose petals, mineral rich sea salt, and a sophisticated lemon rose perfume. But it also has a giant one too. So this is that regular size bath bomb. And then this is a gigantor one. So I may have to order one of those for myself because I have a giant bathtub. Next up we have the Love Boat. I think that is so cute. How cute would that be in a kid's bath? Seeing a little boat bobbing along. This one also smells really beautiful and the um, card says come aboard for a rose and orange adventure that promises something for everyone. It does smell really beautiful. I think that's super cute. That's a really neat way to um, present a bath bomb. Next up we have Tisty Tosty which I believe is like a cult favourite. I know tons of you always recommend this one when I ask what you're loving at Lush or what you would recommend. So this is the cute little guy. It says concoct a love potion in your bath with rose absolute precious Oris root and romantic rosebuds. Super cute. Definitely one I've seen for I think years and years now they've been doing this one. Everything smells super delicious and rosy so. Next up we have a naked product. Now I will link you up in the top corner to my video I did on their new kind of like naked line which is solids that have no packaging. So this one is a shower cream. I also I think have one which is a shower gel and you may be thinking like well isn't it just soap but when you lather up in your hands under the water it feels like either a shower gel or a shower cream. It doesn't feel like soap and I know that's not like a super helpful way to describe it but it's very different. I think these are awesome especially if you yourself are trying to cut down on waste. Lush are a really great place to find um, options that are like easily accessible and also really kind of fun and colourful and you don't feel like you're missing out. But this is Tender is the Night Naked Shower Cream. A sweet floral blend of jasmine, ylang ylang and vanilla with muru muru butter for soft excuse me, for soft kissable skin. It smells so good. I'm really excited to try this one. I really liked their, there was like an orange one that I had that will be in that video. Um, I'm obsessed with that one. That one was really nice. Mm, yum yum. Oh, and a bunch of you guys said that you cut these up and then just take like a chunk into the shower versus taking the whole thing. Um, so I thought that was kind of helpful. I wanted to mention that. I'm going in the order of the little booklet because I think it's really cute. Oh. This is beautiful and it smells so good. It's really, really cute. I really love that their soap bars or soap solids are, um, they kind of like cut slices off. Like if you guys have ever been in a Lush store, it's kind of like if you're in like a cheese shop and they're kind of all displayed and then they just cut slices off. So I kind of love these ones that have like a little neat thing running through them. Oh, and it has like hearts and a brick wall design on the outside too. So this is Tunnel of Love Soap. It says, let love take you for a ride perfumed with rose water, sweet wild orange and lime. It does smell nice and citrusy, but still has that kind of like really yummy rose scent to it. Oh my gosh, that's really good. I've mentioned this before and I think some of you guys said you do it too. Like if you have soaps that you maybe just aren't gonna get to use or aren't gonna get through, you can like cut little chunks off and like put them in your drawers to keep your um, clothes, underwear, whatever fresh. So I'm gonna use this on my body though because this one's too delicious. Oh my gosh, that smell. Mm. I think another reason I love doing Lush videos like this is because I get like all of the aromatherapy benefits and just like finish up feeling like 
Turning the page. Next up we have, what are you? This is something new. This is the Kiss Me Quick Wash Card. It says get in a sweet and spicy lather with warming clove bud oil and comforting tonka absolute. So I think it's like soap paper. I've seen those a long time ago, but no, never anything so kind of like fun and cute as this. Oh, it does smell beautiful. Kind of a little bit more um, spicy. Cool. So yeah, I guess it's like soap paper. This one is the Melt My Heart Massage Bar. Smells. What is that? It smells super good. Okay, it says melt even the frosties hearts with this floral stunner full of orange flower and violet leaf. Maybe it's the violet. Mm, that smells delicious. Super cute. So if you've not used their massage bars before, they're kind of like a solid oil. So the warmth of your um, skin will kind of warm them up and you will get some oil off on them. So I can rub a little on my hand right now. This stuff smells so good. Next up is the Cherryish Body Scrub. These new releases are so cute. Maybe they're not all new, I don't know, but I certainly haven't seen them before. They're new to me. This one says, get touchably soft with vegan white chocolate, <coughs> dry cherries, and rich marumaru butter. Oh, that smells beautiful. These would be such cute gift ideas. I love things like this that are maybe like don't have to be super expensive, they're just small little items that can kind of encourage you and your significant other, or even just yourself, to spend a little time together um, and get a little pamper time in. So I think that's super cute. Next we have the Kiss Lip Scrub, a sweet and flirty scrub for a soft kissable pout. I actually really love their lip scrubs, they're some of my favourites. They have really fun kind of flavours and colours, so it is pink. Looks like it has little flecks of red something, oh my. That smells like candy. Okay, it says buff away dryness with this fruity scrub, then get ready to pucker up with the softest lips. That smells so good, it smells like sweeties. I'm gonna be all scrubbed and lotioned up tonight. Following on from the lip scrub, we have the Kiss Lip Gloss. I don't know if I've noticed that they did lip glosses before, so it's in a balm form, and then I guess it probably just melts down and gets very kind of glossy. Oh, so it's kind of like gloss but sheen. Can I put it on top of a liquid lip maybe? Oh, it's very hard. So it's not necessarily going to give you a glossy lip to look at, but I think it's more just going to give you a sheen over your lips. So very interesting. I've not come across this before, but I'm excited to try this out some more when I don't have other stuff on my lips. <laughs> so it says sweep on this coconut oil and shea butter gloss for a sheer pink lip and subtle mandarin almond flavour. Oh it does smell really good actually. So yeah that's very interesting. I love seeing like the new kind of like makeup y stuff they come out with. What do we have? We just have a few more items left. So this one is a bubble bar. This is the Heart of Enlightened Expectation bubble bar melt. So if you're not familiar, the bath bombs, you just put in the bath and they will start to fizz up. Like bubble bars, you're going to want to kind of break a bit off and break it under the water and it will get really bubbly. Oh, this one is a really nice scent. It says, um, set loving intentions as you soak in a bouquet of floral oils and absolutes and blissful buttery bubbles. Oh, that smells really nice. I'm going to have to look and see what's in this one because it smells super good. I love their bubble runes. I think they're so cute. So it's kind of like a macaroon. Macaron? Is that how you would say it? I don't know. Anyway, this is the whole lot of love bubble rune. Show your skin a whole lot of love with silky cocoa butter waters and romantic jasmine rose bubbles. Mm, I love jasmine. I love rose too, so this is just really delicious. Has a gold glitter through the middle, so um, <laughs> it's going to be a glittery one. And I'm not, I think the bubble runes you maybe break up the same way you do like the bubble bars, but they're just shaped like a little macaroon type thing. And then last but certainly not least is the unicorn horn bubble bar. I'm going to do it. Who wouldn't receive a unicorn horn and not like give it a go, you know? Uh. This says sink into pastel waters topped with frothy bubbles scented with a dreamy lavender neroli perfume. This smells like bedtime. Lavender, I just immediately associate it with like bed. Mm, yum. 
Oh, and this one is not kind of glittery, but it's got like a pearly sheen through it. Super pretty. And again, you just break a bit off, run under the water and it will get really nice and bubbly. So I typically don't use a lot of like bubbly bath products, usually because um, I find they really dry my skin out. But Lush bubble bars are definitely some I found that do create nice like bubbles and they're fun and relaxing, but they don't dry my skin out. I think because they usually are sure to put some like oils in there too. So I find that super helpful. Anyway, as someone with very dry body skin. So yeah, very cute. Ooh, I've got very pearlized fingertips. So that is it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick one just looking at some of these new Valentine's releases. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Big thank you to Lush for sending me a little re-up on uh, the bath bombs because I love to bath. If you guys have tried any of these new Valentine's releases or have any other Lush favourites, definitely let me know what they are in the comments down below. I will meet you down there. I believe everything I have shown you can be found both online and in stores. And yeah, I'm going to go fill my bathroom with all of these delicious Valentine's products. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.